What up everybody, for today's unboxing we have a pretty new set in Cyber Judge. I haven't got this in English, which would be Temporal Forces. So I thought I'd just scoop up a box and kind of give a preview for what's to come in English. I normally don't get to open a bunch of Japanese, but I'm very excited because this set was on a flash sale and I got this for 40 bucks. So with that all being said, let's get into today's video and hopefully we can keep this luck streak going and pull something huge. All right, let's get into this beautiful set for today's unboxing it is monday thought i start off this monday with a little wow i almost cut my almost just cut my hand <laughs> thought i'd open or start this week off with a little pokemon card opening very excited like i said i got this thing on on fire sale for tiktok man tiktok be having all of the just just deals just great deals so hopefully it's not tampered with. I bought booster boxes from Sky before. I think we're good. I think we're absolutely solid. So here we are, boom, and boom. I've been opening a lot of Korean lately. If you guys want, I'm gonna leave the link to one of those Korean opening videos right there. So let's get into it. They've got tons of packs. I'm very excited. Very, very excited excited for today's video because like i said i normally don't get to open japanese because it's just so darn expensive um yeah let me know let me know what you're what you guys uh think of this new set are you guys hyped you guys are not hyped are you going to wait in english i personally i just i just couldn't wait i i would i just just wanted to get into the set already and and uh, get a nice little nice little feel for what's to come. You know what I'm gonna do? Actually, I don't even have. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be opening up by hand these packs. Sorry guys, it's gonna be a little bit longer of an opening. So sit back and relax. What is this Pokemon's name? I always forget this Pokemon's name. The worst. That was fast. <laughs> Oh man, that was super fast. What is it? Sawsbuck. It's funny because I'm pretty sure my co-host on the podcast, he just pulled a Sawsbuck too. Not, I know there's two cards to uh, to this little little uh, illustration, but beautiful, beautiful Sawsbuck. I'm not a giant Sawsbuck fan. Let me know if you guys are in the comment section down below. But uh, it kind of just looks like a normal deer that has like flowers coming out of his uh, out of his head. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, look, I'll see that. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, like I said, I I was really excited for temporal forces, and this is temporal forces. I just need the other the other half. Uh, I ordered the other half, which is uh, a cyber judge and. Gosh darn it. Yeah, the other half. <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, what is his name? Malmetal? Malmetal's Evolution. Super cool. Super cool card. I wasn't a huge fan of this Pokemon at first, but then he's kind of grown on me. I know there's a super uh, awesome uh, Meltan card. And the... I believe it's the... I have the card list right now. I think it's an it's a illustration rare. So hopefully we can pull something cool. Real cool. Because the Sawsbuck was I, right. it's cool. What is that? I think the Sawsbuck is, it's an art rare, okay. Still um, getting used to the, oh, we got Verizon Wireless right here. All right, we got the Ver Verizion card, EX. It's not the one that we want, but it's a start. It's start to, to get nice and warmed up. Cool card, cool, cool card. Um, it does feel cool that I get to open some Japanese and I will be making a Pokemon video about the Japanese market and why I think look at this, this little cute guy right there oh man how can you hate this Pokemon um, about what's kind of going on in the Japanese market why is it so cheap is it because Pokemon said or if Pokemon's actually doing what they said by printing to demand because if you guys remember, not too long ago, there was some pretty crazy uh, lines 
overnight to go get some, uh, some Pokemon cards, which is absolutely crazy. Okay, we got something. We got something. We have another EX. Oh gosh. If you guys know this channel, this this dude is this dude's the worst. Like how how can you like Incineroar? He just looks like a like a Ugh, just 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 bad. Just absolutely bad. So hopefully that we got all the V cards out of the way for the set and for this uh booster box. <laughs> oh man. Um anyways. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna make a video, a quick video about uh, what I think about the Japanese market. Are we uh, are we in a downtrend? Are we are we in an uptrend? I will give my comments on that after Pokemon Day. Got a busy week. Got the podcast tomorrow. We got a uh, Pokemon Day, of course. Tomorrow it's gonna be a very. Did I just pull the other? Did I just pull the other half? I think I just pulled the other half. Oh, did I? This is, well, did I pull the other half? Is there two, am I lying? Or is there, why is there three of them? Oh no, it is, it's just these two. Dude, I pulled, <laughs> I did it. Has this ha ever happened in a booster box before? My luck has been hot. Has been real, real hot. That is freaking awesome. You can't have one without the other. Let's let's keep it. Let's keep this let's keep this opening going. We're hot. We got like freaking ten packs left. Oh man, let's 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 get to, let's get to these freaking hits. I am stoked. That is awesome. That's freaking awesome. I think that's it though. I think okay, like what is that? Two art rares. Two art rares. Do we get two art rares and a, and a special illustration rare? If you know me, you know I love Mr. Mime, so that's, I, uh, if you see me kind of throw that off on the side on camera, you know that it's going into my little um, common binder. Just created a common binder. I always say this. I'm a huge uh, common. Love this Pokemon. Pidove is amazing. A lot of people out there hate Pidove. I don't know why, but he is freaking Wow, okay. So that's the, we got a banger. Got a straight banger. Do we have anything behind this thing? Oh, no, there's no double hits. Wow. I get, to, this is my first gold card pull in this era. Let me tell you, they're pretty crazy. What are the chances that I, this this booster box is pretty great. Um, this is awesome. This card is beautiful. I should definitely take care take care of it like right now and just do a little you know little 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 tippy tappy right there. Oh sorry if that hurt hurt your ears, but man, this thing is sick. Hope you guys can see it in all its glory and in 4K. That is rad. So the rest of these should just be crap. But uh we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. They could we I think we're good for another EX. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we're good for uh one more EX pull. We got the Maridon Hollow. That is sick. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. This is different. We got this like weird kind of like faded out pattern. Maybe it's just a card, but this this Maridon is awesome. That's definitely gonna go on the side into my uh, keep for later pile. I also have this. I also have this pack or this um, set in Korean coming as well. I hope that you guys get to watch the Korean videos because there's some sets that I won't be getting to open, like Killing Rain, like I said, um, in those opening videos. So I definitely recommend you guys to go and check those out. They're awesome. So awesome videos. I know uh, a lot of you guys can't read in Korean, neither can I, but it's, they're, they're Pokemon cards. You guys should all know that at least, you know, half of, half of these new Pokemon. I mean, you guys know Mr. Mime. You, you guys don't need Google Translate to translate Mr. Mime or Litten. Wow, we're just pulling all of the big boys today. That is rad. Uh, that, what, what is his name? Iron, 
Iron Crown, sorry. Iron Crown, how to look at the, I don't know why I'm putting this in a sleeve. That's that's not going into a sleeve, that's going into a binder. But uh, check it out, Iron Crowns, pretty cool. Uh, you know what I've noticed with the EX cards in Japanese compared to Korean? They're definitely a little thicker. Korean just feels a little thin, but um, still beautiful cards. Definitely prefer to open, um, um, I prefer to open Japanese? <laughs> Dude, what is this booster box? Salvador? What? It just, it just doesn't stop. This booster box just doesn't stop. I believe that's it. That should be it. I don't remember him much in the game. Let me know if, let me know if I'm tripping in the conversation down below. Probably am tripping. But, um, Salvador, huh? Salvador. Wow, look at that Pikachu card. That is awesome. That's going over there. And we got an Electa Kid. Electivire. Electivire. Elect Electabuzz definitely had a glow up because in Gen 1, I used to think he was the man, even though he didn't evolve. But, you know, then we got Electabuzz. We got Electa Kid. We got Electivire. So many. So many variations of uh, that Pokemon. Just OP, super sick. One of the first Pokemon that I uh, fell in love with from the get-go. Him and like I told you guys before, Mr. Mime was one of my favorites. I mean, just psychic power, psychic and uh, wow, look at that Raichu. That is amazing. That is going into my take home for later pile, um, or for my comment binder. Um, like I told you guys, Psychic was super overpowered in Gen 1. Uh, yeah. And Mr. Mime was in the forefront of all that stuff. Metagross, Pineco, another Metagross, and a Energy. We're getting cold. We're getting cold. Can we just get one more? Is that a little too greedy? Am I getting greedy now? I mean, it's, it's pretty much what, like, what should happen in a booster box, right? It should be about two uh, EXs. Okay, and then one of these things. I have not pulled, I have, I have not seen this in person, but these are pretty crazy. I mean, supposedly these are gonna shake up the TCG. I don't play the TCG, so I don't know what this is gonna do for me, but I really like the texturing. It's kind of getting me dizzy, to be honest, but it, it's sick. It's super, super sick. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are down for this. Uh, I like I like that it's pink. Pokemon could be on to something with other, you know, we're just, we're very, we're very, we're still very new when it comes to uh, what's possible, you know, with Pokemon cards. I think that in the next couple sets, we're about to see some you know, what happens if we get a pink, some pink cards, some yellow cards. I mean, we got we got the golds, you know what I mean, but um, just just different things. I think that Pokemon's gonna blow our mind. Oh, this is awesome. So I really want this card. What is this Pokemon's name? He is, what, what is this? Oh, Drampa. Um, I really want the Drampa card, uh, the, the what is this floating like through the sky? Super sick. He's floating this guy here, but this card is cool too. So we're gonna hold on to that one as well, but it's not the illustration rare or the art rare or whatever rare they're called. The alt art, Victini, uh, looking mad creepy. Um, Charger bug. Okay, we got a little, we got a little ex action. We're just gonna pull every single one of the. I forget what this dude's name. But I just, I did watch the Legends, I saw my friend who just watched the Legend, the, the Caldo, Caldeo um, movie. The movie, that movie was so sick. Where, you know, he just learns how to fight and he learns how to become, I think Cal, Caldeo is a legendary, right? Just learns how to, you know, grow up and stuff. So sick. If you haven't watched that movie, it's on Netflix. Definitely recommend you guys go check that out. Fortress, looking super awesome. I do have the Fortress full art. In Japanese, 
and I wasn't too sure if I liked it, but he's kind of growing on me. He's kind of growing on me. Actually, one of the one of the questions in the uh, newest podcast for tomorrow. What do we have? Oh! <laughs> Oh, the booster box that just keeps on giving. I, I was like, dude, if I get one card in this set today, I want the Iron Thorns and I want the Lickitung. Dude, amazing. Just, just amazing, dude. Like, what can, what can we say for all the Gen 1ers out there? This one's for you. This card is super freaking sick. Oh my gosh. All right, last three packs. Can we pull? I don't know, we can pull anything. I think, I think these last three are duds, but maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see what we can, Zorora and nothing. Okay, we're down to two. We're down to two, we got a quick, quick little down to two. No giant hits, we did get a gold card. Which is pretty crazy because I'm, I'm pretty sure the gold cards are like the hardest to pull. I'm not a huge fan of the gold cards, but seeing it in person, I'm kind of happy that I do have one in my collection. So, pretty awesome. Um, let's get down to this last final pack. Oh no, right you sleep into the side. It's not a good start. It's not a good, not a good sign. This this guy looks like he's up to no good. He's just like, oh man, oh no. Oh no, Pit Dove, Pit Dove, just bring us something, bring us something good. Okay, that's cool. We got in the verse section, and we got nothing. But this is cool, let's go back. Let's, I, I know it's the end of the video, but this is awesome too. Just just the galley, just, or our Iron Valiant, Iron Valiant, just looking, looking awesome. I really like the holographic cards in, in this set, to be honest, from the quick little pull that we did. They look great. So with all those amazing hits, it's safe to say that your boy is back in the Japanese market. And it feels so good to be back. Thank you guys for checking this one out with me. Got so many amazing cards, my first gold card and all that. If you guys could, I would greatly appreciate if you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way. Help me push this channel to more Pokemon lovers like yourselves. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. And tomorrow, happy Pokemon Day.